Uh, I'm sick again. Not as bad as last time, but my throat is killing me. And on top of all that, I'm getting cold far too easily. Ow, that, that, that hurt. Seriously, I legit tried sleeping in to like 10 a.m. And I got like nothing in me at all. <laughs> Uh, but I have one more video to do in March, so I better do it. And how, f there's a metaphor for the fact that I feel as bad as I do now when it's March 31st. And here's the thing, like, I was pretty much fine yesterday morning, I only started feeling bad in the afternoon. Tried staying under the covers. Tried doing all I could. So, uh, yeah. My low is the fact that I'm sick right now. Um, do I have any high at all? Well, I didn't see my family. Figured. As long as I was sick, you know, family time would be some of the best medicine, right? And, uh, do I have an act of kindness at all? I did a couple things for my grandma. I did that. So, uh, there you go. Oh, man, do I feel horrible. I feel so exhausted, I couldn't even grab my Hot Ones notes. But I still remember quite a bit of them. Uh, so Florence Pugh was um, uh, this week's guest. And, uh, <coughs> that was attractive. Uh, so, Florence Pugh was this week's guest, and the questions I thought Sean Evans was asking were pretty sad overall. And I love how Florence's um, strategy was having one hand way up here. Well, she's doing everything else with the other hand. Although, it didn't really last forever. Because eventually she had to put her hand down for... I forget why. But there were some pretty good questions that Sean asked. Um, she, they talked about how... Um, she did a Shakespeare with uh, Anthony Hopkins and Emma Thompson. Which, I mean... Literally everything about that sounds really, really cool. I mean, for starters, you have Emma Thompson and Anthony Hopkins. I do believe they both have won Oscars before. I know, I know Anthony Hopkins won his Oscar for Silence of the Lambs. I know that. I forget what Emma Thompson did it for, though. Um, but here's the thing. Anthony Hopkins specifically is like really big into Shakespeare. So for Florence to see one of the most condecorated actors of all time be like this enthused about doing Shakespeare, you know, it, it, it's something. I mean, it really does show that no matter how old you, how, how old you are, you know, you, you still got, you still got the passion to do the things you love. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Another question. Uh, hmm. 
I'm just saying, I'm, I'm thinking of something for him. Uh, they talked about eating on camera, just because it's always, Sean Evans has always been fascinated with eating on camera, which I guess it makes sense anyway, you're eating on camera if you're on hot one. So I guess there's a, you know, you know, some solidarity there, I guess. Um, by the way, if any of you guys are concerned, I'm totally going to the doctor after this. It's just, I, I absolutely had to do this. You know, it's the last video in March. It's the last day I'm going to wear this tie. I got to. Anyway. Um, so. Actually, she talked a little bit about, like, the entire day she got to eat, like, mac and cheese and for the entire day. I was really cool. Well, working on hot guy. Um. Okay. Uh, this was the bomb wing. And sometimes you can tell just how horrible the bomb is. Because Florence didn't even get to finish her question, finish answering her question that she was asked. Basically, um, on a um, charcuterie or cheese board, what um, what are four cheeses that absolutely have to be um, have to be there? You know, um, mentioned goat, gouda, cheddar, and we never got the fourth cheese. Seriously, like, she never said what the fourth cheese was. Like, at all. It was, uh... I mean, I feel like I got robbed here, you know? Well, actually, no, really. But, uh... <laughs> so, um... Yeah. I mean, I do know what the last wing was. I'm trying to remember other wings before I get to it. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, I can't remember much without my nose. Um, so, I guess we could talk about the last dab wing, which, considering that I have a sore throat, I felt this really resonated with me. Because, I mean, the wings of death are behind you. All that's left to do is just one question and then you're done. And we've seen a lot of last stab wings in the past where it's always crazy. Like Ken John giving a um giving a a checkup, giving Sean a checkup. Gordon Ramsay making scrambled eggs. Weird Al or uh, John Mayer playing instruments. So, we got a lot of crazy last stabs. But, never did I ever think there would be a, a last stab where the guests would have to make the perfect cup of tea. I'm not kidding. A, a perfect cup of tea? Like, listen, I'm not a tea guy. If anything, I've always been more hot chocolate and coffee guy. I mean, I've had tea before. But, um, it was interesting to see what, uh, to see what Shaw was, uh, asking, or what uh, Florence was saying, I mean, I'm sorry. Can you tell I'm completely delirious at the moment? Oh, gosh. Um, right, where was I? So... For starters, obviously the tea, it's got to be hot. Obviously, that's, that's, um, that's a no-brainer. Apparently, there's actually some divide between whether you keep your tea bag in or you don't. Which I, I did not know. Florence keeps her tea bag in because, um, it sort of creates a thicker sort of, a thicker tea broth, I guess. And there's got to be some uh, milk or cream. And uh, that was it. Until she had to drink it. 
Remember, even though she's done eating the wings of death, that heat from the wings is going to be with her for a while. So, she had to drink a hot cup of tea while her mouth was still on fire from the wings. So, needless to say, she was, uh, she really didn't care for that. Not at all. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. And you know what, considering that uh, I had a sore throat, that really resonated with me because um, last night for dinner, and keep in mind, I was too sick to eat anything, but uh, my mom made chili last night. I don't think chili would have been good for me. I really do not think it'd be good for me. And I like chili too. But again, I couldn't, I couldn't have it. So yeah, this is the last Friday in, this is the last Friday in March. March 31st. This is, the last day that I get to wear this. I can't believe it. I'm actually kind of sad. Actually, I'm a little higher than me. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my hair is probably atrocious at the moment. You can imagine I didn't really have much to do or anything except get a, get a clean pair of clothes and Hope to God I don't look horrible, right? But for all intents and purposes, March is over after today. And I'm so, I feel sad, actually. Because, I mean, I made no secret, I really do love this month. I really do. Green was the first color I ever depicted as my favorite color, you know. I love the fact that I get to celebrate, you know, the Irish blood within me on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I love that, you know, spring arrives. So, you know, we're slowly but surely getting into consistently warm weather, which we're supposed, seriously, I think it's supposed to be like 52 today. No kidding, it's supposed to be like 52 degrees outside, outside at the moment. And it, um... Like, up in, like, it's supposed to be 52, but then it's going to drop down to 32 in a couple hours. And then we're supposed to get, like, snow showers, specifically up in Rochester, which, I mean, Roche, it's Rochester. It's about two and a half hours away from here. Yeah, unfortunately, like, a lot of the big upstate New York cities are far away from where I live. Though, luckily, though, it probably makes sense. I live in one of those big upstate New York metropoli. In the travel I were. Is it plural for metropolis? I don't know. Someone's gonna have to someone's gonna have to ask about that. Um But for all intents and purposes I mean literally with the exception of today and like the first day of spring when I was really sick. March was actually a pretty solid month. I mean, we had St. Patrick's Day. We celebrated my grandfather's 89th birthday. I got to spend more time with my uh, uh, nephews going out to dinner and stuff. And we're going to continue to do that more. Um. So... I guess the only thing I can really say is now, say now is uh, look forward to April. I mean, there's a lot to look forward to in April. I mean, this weekend's Palm Sun, tomorrow's Palm, tomorrow's Palm Sunday weekend, and then later it's um, uh, what's it called? Uh, then Easter. I can't believe I forget. Easter's one of my favorite holidays. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, the good folks over at Astoria's and Boar are doing a pop up. I mean, I was, here's the thing, if I wasn't sick at the moment, I wouldn't be going back and forth as to whether or not I want to go, but I do got to look for Easter gifts, 
my twin nephews love things that are pink and yellow. I'm almost positive there's going to be something pink and yellow there. So, look for some Easter gifts, perhaps. Um... Uh, there's also a few other vendors there, including peas and macarons that, again, if I wasn't sick at the moment, I wouldn't be going back and forth as to whether or not I want to go. I mean, I really do want to go. I'm really hoping I feel better, though. Like, even a little bit better would be so awesome at the moment. Like, if I didn't really feel my throat at all because it's sore at the moment, like, if I didn't have a sore throat, I would totally very much consider going. But uh, yeah, we got, uh, it's gonna get warmer soon. We got Palm Sunday, we got Easter. I have a few birthdays to celebrate as well, including my brother's birthday. He's gonna be turning 35. Um, yeah. Honestly, I gotta continue doing the strategy I had this whole year where, you know, just take one day at a time. And don't let your feelings dictate how you go about your day. I do that. You know, 2023 is going to want to be in a better year than 2022 for sure. Not that 2022 was wholly bad. I mean, the, th the last third was salvage. So, you know, that happened. I hope y'all liked this video. And if you did like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. As always, I'm very humbled to make this video for all the guys who watch. Enjoy for me. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh friday happy friday everyone and remember if any of you guys want to talk it's the last friday of march hey and um remember if any of you guys want to talk the channel is going to be here to let it here no always have your back take care and make good choices 607 all day baby